Good news parents, are you currently homeschooling? Today's video meets common core standards for English language arts, speaking, and listening. Here's how to use today's story time as a part of your child's English lesson. Step one, watch today's story time video with your child. Step two, at the conclusion of the story, I'll ask some questions. Pause the video after each question and let your child answer one at a time to see how well they listened and understood the story. Step three, listen to your child with care. Speak one at a time about the topics and texts under discussion. Step four, conclude and support your local library. So ask any further questions to clear up any confusion about the story time a topic under discussion and then check out this book at your local library and practice reading aloud at home. Enjoy the show. Hello and welcome to another episode of Authorized. I am your hostess, Christina Smith, and today's story is The Tortoise and the Hare, a reading rainbow book. Some of y'all might remember that. <laughs> the parents will. But this is a reading rainbow book and it's an Aesop fable adapted and illustrated by Janet Stevens. Once upon a time, there was a tortoise and a hare. Tortoise was friendly and quiet. He did everything slowly. Hare was flashy and rude. He did everything quickly. Hare liked to tease tortoise about being so slow. When tortoise ate breakfast, Hare said, by the time you finish your last bite, it will be dinner time. When tortoise worked in his garden, Hare said, by the time you pick those spring flowers, it will be winter. One afternoon, Hare followed tortoise to the store. Hare teased him on the way. By the time you get there, the store will be closed. He said, you're so slow, I could beat you at a race hopping backwards on one paw. But I could never beat you, Hare, said Tortoise. Yes, you could, said Tortoise's friends. All you need is a little help. Then you will race me, Tortoise, asked Hare. Tortoise pulled his head into his shell. I don't want to, he said. You've got to, said his friends. You've put up with that nasty hair long enough. We think you can win. Tortoise didn't want to disappoint his friends, so he finally agreed to race against hair. Tortoise only had two and a half weeks to get in shape before the big race. Rooster helped him out of the gym. Raccoon cooked him healthy meals. Frog went jogging with him every morning. By the day of the race, Tortoise was ready. Animals from all over the county came to watch the tortoise and the hare. Rooster read aloud the rules and described the course. Attention everyone, the race will begin when I sound this gong. The six mile course is marked by red flags. The first one to reach the finish line wins. Runners, take your mark, get set, go! Raccoon sounded the gong. Hare bolted out of sight before Tortoise had taken his first step. The crowd roared and cheered as Tortoise inched forward. Hare was so far ahead that he decided to stop at Bear's house for something cool to drink. Hare rested and sipped lemonade. Bear noticed something moving outside the window. Hare, there goes Tortoise. What? yelled Hare, running out the door. Hare passed Tortoise for the second time. Then he decided to stop at Mouse's house for a snack. As Hare munched on crackers and cheese, Mouse yelled, Is that Tortoise I see out the window? I'm not worried about that slow poke, said Hare. I've passed him twice already. Then he finished his snack and hopped out the door. Hare passed Tortoise for a third time. Now he was far ahead. He saw a pond and decided to stop and rest. 
The snacks had made him sleepy. Hare was so sure that he would win, he took a nap in the soft grass. As he closed his eyes, he dreamed of victory. Suddenly, Hare woke up because the crowd was cheering. Yay, Tortoise! The crowd roared. Tortoise was two steps away from the finish line. Slow down, you bow-legged reptile! Screamed Hare as he tried to catch up. But it was too late. Tortoise crossed the line just before the tornado of dust and fur that was Hare flew by. Tortoise had won the race. Hare couldn't believe it. That measly shell on legs had beaten him. Tortoise smiled as his friends carried him on their shoulders. He had learned an important lesson. Hard work and perseverance bring reward. The end. And now I have some questions. Now, uh, parents, you might want to get out a dictionary uh, for your children because uh, some of these words I'm going to ask might be some new vocabulary, word, vocabulary words for some of them, okay? So uh, do you remember the reason why Tortoise agreed to race hair? Do you think this was a good reason? Why do you think Hare felt like he could stop for lemonade, cheese and crackers, and a nap during a race? Hmm. Can you recall a time when you reached a goal that seemed impossible? In other words, uh, can you recall when hard work and perseverance was needed in order to reach a goal? Perseverance, that's a vocabulary word. Can you name the antagonist in the story. Antagonist. Can you name the protagonist? Protagonist. Who were the supporting characters in the story? Can you name them? At the beginning of the story, we found Hare constantly belittling Tortoise. Can you think of additional ways this conflict could have been resolved besides a race between tortoise and hare? So belittling conflict and resolved. Okay, those are the vocabulary words that might be new for some. All right, so what do you think about that? Hmm. Any other ways? I could think of some ways, but I want you to think of some, okay? Now, I hope you enjoyed this story as much as I did, and we'll see you next time unauthorized.